Welcome, Hordlings, to another Game Hoarder production. I'm proud to bring to you Tormentium, Dark Sorrow. The creators of Tormentum are running an Indiegogo campaign right now. I'd like you guys to consider going over there and pledging for this campaign. It's very close to the goal. The nice thing about this, as opposed to Grimoire, is that if this campaign doesn't fund, you don't end up spending the money. So it's kind of like along the guidelines of Kickstarter. You only actually will be charged if it meets its funding goal, which I think it's a couple thousand off. It's still got several days, so it's very possible. This uh, is an adventure, point-click type adventure. Uh, I've done a couple of these LPs uh, a while back. They're very fun games. Usually you can find a lot of these type of games on like bigfishgames.com, all that good stuff. This one has a real nice dark, uh, evil, gothic, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but, you know, very abysmal feeling to it. And it, it, it stood out right away. Getter 7, seven uh, turned me on to it not too long ago. And uh, I've been following the campaign, keeping an eye on it. I'm probably going to uh, go for a boxed edition, of course. Uh, but yeah, you can go there and uh, get a digital edition or what have you. Anyways, the creators have recently contacted me and asked me to do the demo on my channel. And uh, of course I'm going to do the demo on my channel. This game looks kick-ass. So it's not very long. It's only going to take this one video. You can download it and play it yourself as well from the Indiegogo site. And I'll leave the link in the description. But uh, if you got, you know... 15 bucks or whatever the, the minimum is, go over there and check it out. Get you a digital copy or throw it out on a box copy, why not? Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of another, always at the same time as an end and never simply as a means. I remember the thing. So many questions. So many secrets. Before I could grasp my situation, I was shackled and thrown into a cage. Hey you, Hoodie. I see I got you too. You came to my house at night and took me without a reason. You're also innocent, am I right? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Today, fortune joined our paths, my friend. But soon it'll separate them again. When our lives meet their unavoidable ends. Those who were kidnapped before us? Nobody made it back. I'm afraid about my family. I left them all alone. Is there still any hope for us? As opposed to my companion, I didn't remember a thing. Well, almost. Graphics are super cool. I love the detail. The only thing I could remember was a statue depicted, like a force of human hands, nothing else. When I woke up, I was already in my cage. Who am I? What are they going to punish me for? What is the meaning of all this? If only I could find that statue. I need to find a way out of this place. We landed on a castle's courtyard. I was dragged to my cell by a group of guards wearing horned iron helmets. After a while, one of them came back and spoke to me. Another one of the wicked that's about to taste the pain of torture. You don't remember anything? Fret not. The place in which you're standing right now will extract the truth about you. You just need to look deep into yourself, and you'll learn the answer. You can't. Oh, we'll help you. Just remember one thing. Nothing's final. You can still change your fate, even though it's already been written down long time ago. In the book of life and death. You might think nothing depends on your actions, but in reality, everything depends upon you and you alone. Before a potter finishes shaping his lump of clay, 
anything is possible. Away to my return in peace. I should be back soon. Oh! Broke out the skeleton's arm! We found a forearm of a skeleton, who knows? Maybe I'll find some use for it. I accidentally broke the skull. Something fell out of it and rolled into the drain. I found a crystal eye. It seems to emanate with a strange kind of energy. The remains of some poor guy is sprawled out on the bunk. I hope at least he died in his sleep. The bird decided to hide here from the meteorite rain. The cryptic drawing. Could it be one that my predecessors wanted me to leave me some kind of message? So as you can see, it's a lot like the other games of this ilk. They're fun, though. I have played this already, so I know what the puzzles are. In fact, I beat it five minutes ago. Didn't take too long. They're not super difficult here, but again, this is just a demo. I'm sure they'll get much, much more challenging. the eyes and show the light. Let's grab this piece of wood here and light the other candles with it. The candles light up the statue of an angel. Pretty wicked looking graphics. I found a piece of mirror. And another piece of mirror. One thing I like about it is how it shows your character standing there, as opposed to just being completely first person. I thought that was pretty cool. The stone heart started to pulsate with a faint red light. The crystal eye activated are part of the mechanism.
And that's it. Great artwork. Really looking forward to this. Again, if you like this type of game, click on the description, the link in the description below. Go toss some money on it. Tell them the game hoarder sent you. Uh, and again, if it doesn't reach its funding, you won't be charged and uh, all that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the demo. And that's it. Do you want to know the truth about yourself? But first, you are to face a long journey. It will be a test for you. You will have to choose between good and evil. In the world succumbed by the darkness. In the world of tormentum. All the memories away. But remember that nothing is determined yet. You can change your fate.